Hi guys, I'm back. I told you I'd do the manic... Well, actually, this will get loaded before my Happy Mail video, but I'm about to talk about bullying while I'm driving. LJ is going to record me, so I'm not recording myself. And if I'm not looking at y'all, that's why. But my Mental Health Monday is about bullying. I was bullied as a kid. So, y'all like my hat? Because, you know, it's my birthday month and it's I have Irish heritage, so I'm not a leprechaun. LJ is short enough to be a leprechaun. I'm not. Ooh. So, anyway, um, I was bullied. Like, I didn't fit in. And bullying doesn't always have to be, like, sometimes it gets really, like, physical and ugly. But it, sometimes it's just how you make someone feel about themselves. Like, I didn't fit in. I always felt like, um, what is it they say, a square peg trying to fit into a round hole? Yeah. I always felt like that my whole life. That's not the bully's fault. That's for sure. But they would add to it because I wasn't athletic. I wasn't in sports. So I was kind of, I was looked upon and picked on. I was always, a, I was, a, well, when I was a small child, I was taller than everybody in my class. I got made up for being taller. I got made up when I ended up getting kind of chubby. I got made up, fun of for being chubby. Um, that kind of thing. So, and I really think I carried some of that with me, like on interacting with people. I didn't think I was ever going to be good enough for people to just accept me. That's about me. But I don't think people realize, I'm not turning, what am I doing? That, um, that that stays with a person. I mean, some people it doesn't, but it really kind of scarred me. Like I had horrible social anxiety and maybe some of it I would have had already had, but I know some of it was because I was made fun of and picked on. So, and then my, uh, my girls were bullied. I won't go into details because that's their story to tell, but they were bullied. I will share that enough, that much about it. They were bullied, all three of them for different reasons, but they even had teachers that, bull that bullied them. One of my daughters, because she had some mood issues, uh, didn't matter what I tried to talk to them, nothing, this teacher seemed to have it out for my kid, that's my street. And then another daughter, um, she's very soft-spoken, and the, this coach just decided she had it, she was, teaching them PE. She wasn't even in sports, uh, you know, sports sports. She was just doing her athletics class and uh, she was really a that, was a that was a doozy. I fought with her and the principal that year um, and it really did some damage to her. That next year in, in school, it wasn't just to keep worried about because she had been bullied by kids all her life. And then when it came down to the and she was my kid that she was not, she didn't act up. If she was told to do something, she did it. She didn't, no questions asked. That kid did what she was told. So, you know, they could, I could understand because one of my kids, she, she is difficult, but this one wasn't. And she got even bullied by the teacher. And I'd had so many teachers like brag on my kid, like how well behaved she was. They wish all of them were like her. So I know that this was this teacher, coach, not her. Um, but you know what? Even as adults, we bully. We, a, a type of bullying, telling someone in a certain, uh, someone of color that they can't be offended or someone of, that's fat, I'm fat. You can't tell me not to be offended by something if you've never been, especially if you've never been the weight that I used to be. I was 470 pounds. Did I pass our street? No, it's up there. Um, I was 470 pounds. Don't tell me not to be offended because it's me that somebody's making fun of or talking about. Um, same with mental illness. Don't tell a mentally ill person to not be offended if you've made fun of them for their mental illness. I know a young lady that every time something went, that was Iron Man. I mean, not really, guys. Okay. Okay, so um, every time her friends would, they found out that she had to take medication, and then she was always picked on, always. 
and then of course the teachers use that as an excuse of why she was just yeah um but as adults like we i've been bullied as an adult i've had people judge me for being a single mom had people judge me and bully me for my kids being um, mixed race. I have had people bully me for being overweight. When I got to my heaviest, you can't judge anybody. You don't know why somebody ended up in the situation they're in, whether it's single mom or if they have to be on assistance or if they're overweight. You don't know. But when you say words that are judgmental, that's bullying. Like, I mean, we're all grown. Why? Why do? is there a necessity to bully as grown people? You know, we talk about children, but some children lead by example. My daughters were called some horrible names by small children. So you tell me they didn't learn it at home. Yeah. So um, it affects people's mental wellness when people are like bullies and I that is included adults you can say oh you're an adult and we should just suck it up but especially if you're an adult that that's all you've had all your life is people putting you down and judging you it's awful hard to just shuck, suck it up and even in some of the comments that I've read on some people's videos I won't say any names but one really popular one that I'm sure you guys have read some people's comments on her stuff that's bullying you guys that is it's bullying and yeah we put ourselves out there for people to watch our videos and so if somebody has something ugly to say but why do you why do we need to why do we feel the need to say something ugly to somebody okay to be ugly when you really honestly all you got to do is unsubscribe from somebody or not pay attention to their video that's what I do if somebody has something that I don't agree with if I find it completely offensive okay I unsubscribe or if it's just I mean if they're offensive I unsubscribe and if I see them like bullying someone in the comments like making ugly comments I have to unsubscribe from them but I just people need to think more about that I am my friend Ange we all know well some of us know her out here on YouTube a lot of us know her her daughter hates going to school because she was bullied so horribly and yeah okay they're kids and and we're trying to rectify it but sometimes maybe we need to look at our actions and what we're doing and if children are copying us because I really think that you know sometimes it does come from the parents and it, it's it's an issue some kids some people commit suicide because of bullying it's it's scary to me um my girls felt so less than because they were bullied not cool at all so that's my mental health monday guys um oh and i also found out that it is endometriosis awareness month and my mom had endometriosis and had to have a hysterectomy in her 30s because it was so bad and I have a niece who's been diagnosed with endometriosis and now doing like some treatments and stuff for it and she because she's barely like 20 about to be 25 I think and then there is um my, I believe that my twins may end up they need to have some testing done because they have some problems so there's another thing that is in March that has something to do with my life I never I didn't have endometriosis I had endometrial hyperplasia and any men that it's watching me you probably have no idea what those are but women will um so yeah there there's another thing so let's see crochet month crafting month trisomy awareness month um endometriosis awareness month neva awareness month well, I'm aware of you. Now what? Um, Neva, my birthday, my daughter's, a whole lot of birthdays. And Pamela from Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Creations, Adoring. Dad, come on, I just looked at the... Sorry, Pamela, I did it again. I saw a surprise for you on, my, on our birthday. Anyway, so yeah. But um, 
th that's going to end my mental health awareness like because I feel like that ties into the hats. I don't know if the blue hat thing is going to eradicate bullying. We all know it's going to exist as long as there's hateful people. But at least it will make maybe some people more aware. But I think we shouldn't just be teaching children to be more aware. We need to teach adults to be more aware of some of the things we might say in front of children or the way we might treat other adults. Kids are watching us. So, okay. Mwah. Love y'all.